Good morning, welcome to Family Math number 68. Family Math number 68. Today we're going to talk about Zeno's Paradox and Zorn and Zermelo. And Infinity has a lot of people who work on it whose name begin with the letter Z. Z. Okay. Are you ready to learn about Zeno's Paradox? Yeah. yeah. Okay, back up to the door. You can put the, uh, put the sheet down. Okay, now Zeno's Paradox says that you guys standing over in that door can never get over to me here at the camera. Because if you're going to get from that door to me, first you have to go halfway. Go ahead, go halfway. Now, then you have to go halfway again. Now you have to go halfway again. And halfway again. And you're never, ever, ever going to get to the camera. Halfway, 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 halfway. Okay, you ready to see it with Lego guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Okay, so here we're going to illustrate it with Lego guys. We made this awesome Duplo castle, right? <laughs> and so this purple snake dude, who's that? The god of snakes. The god of snakes, okay. And who's this flipper guy? He wants to harpoon this guy. Okay, now so what they're going to do is they're going to try to do it by... First they have to come over to attack. They have to go halfway. Oops. I'll just lay them down. Yeah. Okay, then they go halfway again. Then they go halfway again and halfway again. And they can never get to the other side, right? So these guys are always completely safe. safe. What about the reach of the weapon? Now, does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. That they're always safe? Uh-huh. Really? Yeah. So no, they... it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Why not? Show me how that guy could attack that guy. Come on, quick. Boom! <laughs> Boom. So they can actually attack them. Huh, that's pretty weird. So why, but why, what's wrong with the paradox? Why, why, when you say, well, first you have to go halfway, and then halfway again, halfway again, halfway again, and you'll never get there. Why doesn't that work? I don't know. I don't know either. Do you, can you figure out why that doesn't no. work? So this is called Z, or Zeno's paradox, and this has baffled and confused and caused people to scratch their heads. Scratch your head. For thousands of years. And then, in the 1900s, and, and the, actually the late 1800s and then early 1900s, uh, there were more people who started thinking about this, and there were all sorts of paradoxes involving infinity. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. So, one guy who studied it was Zermelo, another guy who studied it was Zorn. So, all these people, they studied infinity, and lots of people, their name began with the letter Z. Pretty weird, right? Yeah. Alright, so there we go. There's. Uh, a Lego illustration of Zeno's Paradox.